What is going on you guys? I am back today with another Final Cut Pro X tutorial and in today's video we will be talking all about LUTs. So for a long time Apple did not have their own LUT loader inside Final Cut Pro X. You had to use a third party one but now they've actually included one in the latest update. I'm not sure if they added it in High Sierra or Mojave but anyways it's there now so we're going to be checking that out today. It's not that complex but I just wanted to make a video about it because it's really interesting and it's very useful. Okay so we're going to start things off by going over to the effects tab on the right and we're gonna go down here to the search bar and type in LUT and that will bring up the effect right here and we're gonna drag that to our clip and I just wanted to make it clear that you can technically use a LUT on any piece of footage however it's gonna look best on a piece of footage that was shot in log now if you don't know what log is I will make a separate video for it but it's basically just a flat picture profile shot by the camera now this footage right here that I'm using I shot in C log but I will like I said make a video all about that now the next step of course is to add in our LUT so we're gonna go ahead and do that right up here on the effects tab we're gonna see this right here custom LUT and you're gonna go down here to none and you're gonna click choose custom preset and it's going to bring up a finder window right here. Now, if you're on a budget and you don't have extra to spend on LUTs, I will leave a link in the description to a website I really like. They have an awesome free LUT pack on there and they also have a description on each LUT to show what it does. I really like them. So we're gonna go ahead and use those. I also wanted to point out that the extension for LUT files is .cube. So once we've navigated to the LUT we wanna use, we're gonna click it and we're gonna go to open and it's gonna pop up right here. If you have a few favorite LUTs that you use quite often and you don't wanna to have to go open this up every single time, you can actually just go down here to reveal in Finder and you can drag and drop all the LUTs into this folder and they will show up right here under the tab. And another quick thing you can do in the effects tab is to head down to the mix option and lower that depending if you want your LUT to be less intense, but honestly, I usually just leave it at the full setting. So one other thing I wanted to point out is that you can still use the color control panel even if you have a LUT applied which is really useful if you want to change a few things like with this LUT right here I find it a bit bright I can bring back down the exposure so I'll head over here to the master control and just drag that down a bit and that is all there is to it you guys super simple but super useful I hope you learned something today and I will be back very soon with another tutorial so stay tuned and subscribe if you are feeling generous and once again you guys thanks for watching